Hello. In today's video, I am doing a skincare haul. Now, this is shocking because <laughs> I'll tell you why. I have never had a skincare routine. Like in high school and all that, I never really did anything to my skin. I probably had a wash, but nothing crazy. Like just a, oh, I used to use my mom's face wash. She had cleansers and I would use her cleansers, but I never had my own like skincare routine. When I got out of high school and I was in my early 20s, my skin started to like, especially my forehead started to be really bad. So I was like, I'm gonna have to figure out what's wrong and like get a skincare routine. So after like lots of trial and error and all of that, I did form a skincare routine, like a little mini skincare routine. Really nothing crazy. I was just, I finally picked up some products basically. I'm now 26 and I still use the same exact products. And the reason why is because one time during this time period, I got courageous. I got confident. I got cocky and I was like, oh, my skin's good. I'm going to just change up my moisturizer. No big deal. My moisturizer is not all that. Like it's just a moisturizer that doesn't break me out, but I haven't broken out in a long time. Maybe I could get a different one. So I did. My face was fully irritated, red and itchy for like a week. So I learned very quickly to stick to what works and not touch my face. And I'm at an age where I really should be purchasing things because i've read that this is the age for anti-aging and all that stuff i should be using things but i'm not at the moment i hope that one day i will <laughs> but i'm currently not but anyway i'm proud of me no i'm not because none of this is like that serious i have both face things and body things so let's get into it first up we have a new cleanser which is just amazing that i picked up a new cleanser it is the youth to the people kale and green tea spinach vitamins superfood cleanser and honestly this is what sold me this sounds great i'm into things like this i love things like this i would eat this i would drink this in a smoothie like this is just i love things like that i'm that kind of person so i was like mm, that sounds good that sounds delightful let me purchase it so i did first of all i love that it's glass that's just like a little perk like i just love the luxurious feeling i love doing my skincare routine because it just feels so like a spa so i feel like this just enhances the experience it makes it a better experience that it's a glass bottle it says the benefits of the kale is that it's rich in skin loving phytonutrients and vitamin c e and k the spinach has a lightweight skin soother that boasts a high natural moisture content and cooling properties i feel like that's perfect for my skin i have sensitive skin and i could always use some soothing the fact that there's some vitamin c in here is great because i don't currently have vitamin c in my in my skincare routine it's just at least i'm getting something you know i feel at least i'm doing something to my face right now i have used it twice so far it doesn't do anything wild it didn't lather up like crazy which is a good sign that means it's a more of a gentle cleanser and i haven't broken out which is the best thing i can say my skin hasn't gotten irritated i haven't broken out we are okay <laughs> i was using the biore charcoal cleanser and i have gone to the drugstore twice so far before i bought the you to the people one i have gone to the drugstore twice and have not been able to find this but i'm interested to see that if i start using this and stop using this, will my forehead pimples come back? Because that was when I switched to this. I had like so many bad forehead pimples because that was my oiliest part of my face. This saved me and cleared me up in combination with other things that I also incorporated at the time. I don't know, we're gonna see if my skin stays good. If it does, I will just keep repurchasing this because we like clean good stuff. And I, I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud that I changed up my cleanser. I feel like I was a little bit forced because I went to the drugstore twice and didn't find this. And then I heard the hype about this. I saw that it has kale and green tea spinach and I was like, that's my kind of thing. My cleanser is not available anywhere. So I was kind of a little bit pushed into it, but I'm not mad about it. I'm proud that I changed up my cleanser. The next thing that I have is the Duval Spin Care System. I'm excited for so many reasons. It comes with four heads. The heads that I'm most excited about are the pumice, the body brush, and the exfoliating brush. It also comes with a cleansing brush, which I personally wouldn't really want to use because I just cleanse my face very gently every single day with just my hands. Even though I don't want to use it for cleansing, I do need its help when it comes to exfoliation. I have so many blackheads on my nose. Like it's so bad. I've had them for forever. They've never gone away. I've just accepted them. I have so many masks because i keep trying to do masks to clean them up like pore cleanse you know lift everything from my blackheads and get rid of them like clean them out nothing's been working i think this 
with the exfoliation head is going to be perfect. It says this brush's spinning motion removes dirt, makeup, and excess oil more thoroughly than your average washcloth, and each pore gets individual attention. Now, that's exactly what my nose needs. The finer brush it removes dead skin cells and dirt. It's going to pore cleanse, so I'm expecting a very shiny, clean nose. That's what I'm expecting. It's just like a, like a lovely nose. I will say I'm gonna probably use this on my face like as a whole. How often? Maybe once a week, once every two weeks. Once every two weeks, I will exfoliate my whole face, but I just think this is going to do a great job at making my skin look even better. I'm gonna keep this somewhere where I can reach it from the shower because I also wanna use the body brush and the pumice in the shower. It's water resistant, not waterproof, so that's fine because parts of my shower don't, the water doesn't hit them, so I could just like, you know, be over there with it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go into the shower, exfoliate with this, and then, which this is great by the way, if you tan. I don't tan, but I've watched enough tanning videos. <laughs> I know that in order to have like a longer lasting tan and also like to avoid streakiness from your tan, you have to exfoliate. And then I can take the pumice, right? Aren't you excited? I can take the pumice, do my feet. You can do your elbows too if you'd like. Any like rough skin, it's going to make it really soft and smooth afterwards. It's not turning on, so I'm assuming. It says open right here. Oh. Four AA batteries. You just need four AA batteries. It doesn't come with a charging. You don't have to charge it. And then you're good to go. And I'm just so so excited if you have to charge them that's so annoying when i first got my electric toothbrush i was told that i had to charge it and i was like no like i'm not doing that but i was told like don't worry it dies like once a year and i was like fine and it's true <laughs> it died like once a year with something like this that i'm going to be using more often i just can't be bothered to charge it so i like that it's just batteries that's just a plus after i do all of my body exfoliation and my skincare exfoliation i go into the shower when i get out of the shower i don't like body lotion Actually, I have a body lotion that I'm okay with, but I don't use it consistently because I just don't like body lotion. However, I picked this up about two months ago, but I feel like it's still fairly new, so I can still talk about it. <laughs> it's fractionated coconut oil. Fractionated coconut oil is processed differently. I mentioned this in my maskne video where I showed you how to get rid of maskne, but I'll mention it again here. Fractionated coconut oil is processed a little bit different than regular coconut oil. Regular coconut oil is bad for your skin because it clogs your pores. Fractionated coconut oil does not clog pores. It says it's easily absorbed into the skin without blocking the pores for softer skin and thicker hair. You can use it on your hair or your skin and they both absorb the oil a lot better than they would regular coconut oil. I have been loving this. It's just so easy to moisturize with oil because you don't have to work so hard to rub it in. <laughs> so it's like really nice and low maintenance and like easy to do. I love how easy it is to just spread it everywhere and it keeps my skin so moisturized, so lovely, and I like that it's clean, okay? No harmful chemicals, no sulfates, no parabens, no synthetic fragrances, no artificial colorants, pesticide-free, organic ingredients, gluten-free. It's great, because you're putting it on all over your entire body, so you want it to be cleaner, and I love that this is like extremely clean and just natural, it's just coconut oil. I love slathering this all over my body, but I have a problem, so I bought a lotion applicator. Okay, hear me out. How do people lotion their backs? My mom was like, people probably don't, or they probably like have somebody do it for them. And I was like, that's not like practical to be like, hey, like, can you come lotion my back for me? I'm thinking most people probably don't even lotion their back. Here's my problem. Sensitive skin, sometimes I get eczema. Like I have very like mild, rare eczema, but sometimes I'll get it. My back needs lotion like what what so i purchased a lotion back lotion applicator because we are independent over here we just we want to do it on our own terms at our own time so that is why i purchased this and i purchased a spray lotion for this this is just an ointment body spray i figured like my back could really use like a better lotion than like a regular lotion and this just says it immediately soothes and relieves dry rough skin all day so just lovely it's like really, really thick. I would never put this on my body, like ever. Like I would never put this anywhere, but I would put this on my back because I don't touch back there, so I'm okay. I'm not gonna feel the greasiness, but it's definitely super, super thick and moisturizing. If you need that, this is what it would be, but, but I've just been going like this. Spray and just going like that and then going like this. You know what I mean? Like I've just been making all kinds of shapes with my body and getting in there and spraying it and then doing it and it's, worked by the way this isn't like brand new i'm just ugh, 
I still didn't take the tag off. I've had this for like two weeks probably. Okay. Don't judge me. Okay, when I get out of the shower, I moisturize, I hydrate. I like to spray a fragrance. You know, I love that. I have like my home nighttime smells that I literally don't wear outside. They're literally for me when I'm home and I just got out of the shower. It's like my own experience. And I also spray my face with a elixir. This is my favorite one. This is my second bottle of it. The Caudeli Udi Butte. Oh, I just, I feel bad because I'm definitely, I'm going to stop trying to say it, but it's a beauty elixir. It just smells so refreshing. It just feels like a spa. And I just need this mentally. Like when I get out of the shower, it's just relaxing and it's, it's lovely and I just love it so much. But yeah, this is what I currently use, but I picked up something else. I picked up rose water. And the reason why I picked it up is because I read about all of the benefits of it. Now I'm Middle Eastern. I did mention that I, it's in my description box. Actually, I bought, uh, I wrote a little about me, check it out. <laughs> I am Middle Eastern. So we cook with rose water, not this one, but we cook with rose water and we just, we know of it. Okay. But I have never used it on my face because here's the thing. I don't like the smell. Like, I just don't like the smell. And I was trying, I'm trying to accept the smell because rose water is really good for your face. Like, let me just see. I'm just Googling rose water face benefits. Rose water has been used as a beauty product for thousands of years. So it's no surprise that it can improve your complexion and reduce skin redness. The antibacterial properties may help reduce acne. The anti-inflammatory properties can reduce skin redness and puffiness. So it's great and I figured I can hopefully get used to the smell of roses, rose water. And then when I get out of the shower, this will be my new like spray that I would just spray and feel rosy and just feel like I'm applying anti-inflammatory and antioxidant and all of this good stuff that they just said. You know, I'm applying all that to my face and just living my spa moment for like five minutes. So that, I bought that. <laughs> I am most excited about this. No, I'm most excited about these two because I've always wanted a skincare system and because I'm just proud. And this is just so clean. Like I'm just so proud. Kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. Like, thank you. I'm just so proud. And I just, I love this. Are you kidding? I'm just so proud of me. We are making progress. We are, the next thing that I need to incorporate into my skincare routine is I think a retinol and a vitamin C serum. And then I would be really proud if I can find the right ones that are going to work together and not irritate my skin. Here's what I really want to do. You want to know what I really want to do? I want to get a facialist. <laughs> so don't esthetician. I want to have somebody that I go to like once a month once every two weeks, whatever it may be, they'll do facials on me. They'll know my skin and they'll be like, okay, this is what you need. Have fun. Have a nice day. Here it is. I'll be like, no problem. I'll buy it and go home. Like I don't want to do the research because every time I do my skin doesn't behave and I'm not a scientist or a dermatologist. Like I can't, it's too much. Skincare is very stressful for me. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't already follow me on social media, I'll have it down here somewhere on the screen. So follow me there and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upload. I've never done these before, but I'm gonna start doing these spiels, these things that I know everybody loves. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.